there is a new data sharing feature specifically designed for using PTC Creo layout files in 3D models. The new layout feature combines component style placement of the layout model with the ability to copy specific content into the 3D model. When you create a layout feature, you start by selecting the layout that you want to use. You then need to place the layout inside the 3D model using the same tools that are used to assemble any other 3D model. You can reference any of the geometry in the layout model for placement or use a coordinate system. Once the layout file is placed, you can then select the geometry that you want to copy. The layout model in the model tree can expand to show the sublayouts, structure nodes, and tags contained in the layout. This enables you to leverage the organization scheme that was added to the layout in the 2D environment. You can select any of these sublayouts, nodes, or tags from the model tree or from the graphics window. You can also select any individual entities or datums to be copied. When you expand the layout feature in the model tree, you will see that the layout feature contains the entire layout model as well as some copied content. The layout model is not copied into the part, but it is only referenced like a component of an assembly. The layout model may be hidden using the right mouse button command, hide layout items. When you expand the copied content, you will see only the items that were copied. These items are also now visible in the graphics area. If you've copied a simple profile with no intersecting loops, you can directly create an extrude or revolve feature using this geometry. You can select the layout feature and then select extrude or revolve and specify the depth. For more complex profiles, you can enter Sketcher and choose which parts of the profile you want to reference with your sketch.